Top 25 GlaxoSmithKline, GSK, Interview Questions and Answers. In this video, we will explore the top 25 interview questions commonly asked by GlaxoSmithKline, GSK. These questions are designed to assess candidates' skills, experiences, and cultural fit within the company. Alongside each question, we will provide insightful answers to help you prepare effectively. Whether you're a fresh graduate or an experienced professional, this guide aims to enhance your confidence for the GSK interview process. 1. Tell me about yourself. I am a dedicated professional with a strong background in the pharmaceutical industry, focusing on quality assurance and regulatory compliance. My academic qualifications include a degree in pharmaceutical sciences, complemented by several years of experience in quality control environments. I have developed skills in conducting thorough audits, ensuring compliance with GMP standards, and collaborating effectively with cross-functional teams. My passion for improving patient outcomes drives my commitment to maintaining high standards in product safety and efficacy. I am eager to leverage my expertise to contribute positively to GSK's mission. 2. Why do you want to work for GSK? I am drawn to GSK due to its commitment to innovation and improving patient outcomes. The company's focus on research and development aligns with my passion for advancing healthcare through scientific discovery. GSK's dedication to sustainability and ethical practices resonates with my personal values, making it an ideal workplace for me. I admire GSK's diverse portfolio of vaccines and medicines that address critical health needs globally. I believe that being part of a team that prioritizes patient care and contributes to meaningful change in the pharmaceutical industry would be incredibly fulfilling. 3. What are your strengths and weaknesses? One of my key strengths is my attention to detail, which ensures accuracy in my work, especially in quality assurance processes. I am also highly adaptable, allowing me to thrive in dynamic environments and effectively manage changing priorities. A weakness I recognize in myself is my tendency to be overly critical of my work. This sometimes leads me to spend more time than necessary on tasks as I strive for perfection. To address this, I set specific time limits for my projects and remind myself that efficiency is as important as quality. This balance helps me remain productive while maintaining high standards. 4. Where do you see yourself in 5 years? In 5 years, I envision myself growing within GSK, taking on more responsibilities and leading projects that contribute to innovative healthcare solutions. I aim to deepen my expertise in pharmaceutical development and regulatory affairs, while also mentoring new team members. I see myself actively participating in cross-functional teams, driving initiatives that improve product quality and compliance. My goal is to be recognized as a valuable asset to the company, contributing not only to my professional growth but also to GSK's mission of improving the quality of human life. 5. Describe a time you handled a challenging situation at work. In a previous role, we faced a significant production delay due to machinery failure. I quickly assessed the situation and coordinated with the maintenance team to expedite repairs while keeping the production team informed. Simultaneously, I implemented a temporary manual process to maintain output levels. I also communicated with our clients, assuring them of our commitment to quality and timely delivery. As a result, we minimized downtime and met our deadlines, reinforcing team cohesion and trust in our ability to navigate challenges effectively. 6. What do you know about GSK's products, services? GSK is a global healthcare company that focuses on pharmaceuticals, vaccines, and consumer healthcare products. Its pharmaceutical division develops innovative medicines in areas such as respiratory, oncology, and infectious diseases. The vaccine segment is known for providing immunizations against diseases like influenza and shingles. GSK's consumer healthcare line includes oral health, pain relief, and wellness products. The company emphasizes research and development, aiming to address unmet medical needs while ensuring product safety and efficacy through stringent quality controls. 7. How do you stay updated on pharmaceutical industry trends? Staying updated on pharmaceutical industry trends involves a multifaceted approach. I regularly read industry journals such as Pharmaceutical Technology and the New England Journal of Medicine, which provide insights into the latest research and advancements. Attending conferences and webinars also allows me to engage with experts and hear about emerging technologies. I follow relevant podcasts and subscribe to newsletters from organizations like the FDA and EMA. Networking with professionals on platforms like LinkedIn helps me exchange ideas and gain perspectives on current issues and innovations. 8. Explain good manufacturing practices, GMP, and their importance. Good manufacturing practices, GMP, are essential guidelines established by regulatory authorities to ensure that pharmaceutical products are consistently produced and controlled according to quality standards. These practices minimize risks in production processes, such as contamination, mix-ups, and errors. GMP covers all aspects of production, including raw materials, facilities, equipment, and training. Adhering to GMP ensures product safety and efficacy, protects public health, and maintains compliance with regulatory requirements. Companies that implement GMP are better positioned to achieve quality assurance, foster trust, and enhance their reputation in the market. 9. 
Describe the phases of clinical trials. Clinical trials typically consist of four main phases. Phase 1 focuses on safety and dosage, involving a small group of healthy volunteers to assess how the drug affects the body. Phase 2 expands the study to a larger group of participants to evaluate efficacy and side effects. In Phase 3, the drug is tested on thousands of participants to compare it with standard treatments and gather comprehensive data on its effectiveness and adverse effects. Finally, Phase 4 occurs after the drug's approval, monitoring long-term effects and gathering additional information on risks, benefits, and optimal use in the general population. 10. What are pharmaceutical regulatory requirements? Pharmaceutical regulatory requirements are essential guidelines established by government agencies to ensure the safety, efficacy, and quality of drugs. These regulations cover various stages of drug development, manufacturing, and marketing. Key agencies like the FDA in the United States and EMA in Europe enforce compliance through rigorous standards. Companies must submit detailed documentation, including clinical trial data, manufacturing processes, and labeling information, before obtaining approval. Adhering to these regulations helps protect public health by ensuring that medications are thoroughly tested and monitored throughout their life cycle. 11. Compare generic and brand name drugs. Generic drugs are copies of brand name drugs and contain the same active ingredients, strength, dosage form, and administration route. They are chemically identical to their branded counterparts but are usually sold at lower prices due to reduced marketing costs and the expiration of patent protections. Brand name drugs, developed by pharmaceutical companies, often have unique formulations and brand recognition which can influence consumer choice. While both types of drugs are required to meet the same efficacy and safety standards, the cost differences can make generics a more accessible option for many patients. 12. What is bioavailability in drug formulation? Bioavailability refers to the proportion of a drug that reaches systemic circulation in an unchanged form after administration. It is a critical factor in drug formulation as it influences the drug's efficacy. Factors affecting bioavailability include the drug's solubility, stability, and the route of administration. For example, oral medications must survive the digestive system and be absorbed through the intestinal wall. Understanding bioavailability helps in designing dosage forms that ensure optimal therapeutic outcomes and minimizes side effects, thereby enhancing patient compliance with prescribed treatments. 13. How would you ensure product safety and efficacy? Ensuring product safety and efficacy involves a multifaceted approach. First, rigorous testing is essential, including preclinical and clinical trials, to evaluate the drug's effects and side effects. Compliance with good manufacturing practices, GMP, is vital to maintain quality throughout production. Ongoing monitoring through post-market surveillance helps identify any long-term effects after product release. Additionally, engaging in transparent communication with regulatory bodies ensures adherence to pharmaceutical guidelines. Training staff on safety protocols and risk management further enhances product integrity, fostering trust in the product's performance. 14. What steps prevent contamination in manufacturing? To prevent contamination in manufacturing, several critical steps are followed. First, maintaining stringent hygiene practices is essential. Employees must wear appropriate protective gear, including gloves and masks, to minimize the risk of introducing contaminants. Second, regular equipment cleaning and sanitization protocols help ensure that all surfaces remain uncontaminated. Third, implementing controlled environments, such as clean rooms with filtered air, significantly reduces airborne contaminants. Additionally, Conducting routine audits and monitoring processes assists in identifying potential contamination risks early on, allowing for timely corrective actions. Lastly, employee training on contamination prevention best practices is vital for maintaining high standards. 15. How do you handle stress? Managing stress effectively is crucial in any professional setting. I employ several strategies to maintain my composure under pressure. First, I prioritize tasks by creating a detailed action plan, breaking larger projects into manageable steps. This helps me focus on one task at a time. Regular physical exercise, such as jogging or yoga, allows me to release tension and clear my mind. Additionally, I practice mindfulness techniques, such as deep breathing or meditation, which help me stay calm and centered. When challenges arise, I seek support from my colleagues, fostering a collaborative environment that alleviates stress. 16. Why should we hire you? I believe you should hire me because I bring a unique combination of skills, experience, and a strong passion for the pharmaceutical industry. My background in quality assurance and my understanding of good manufacturing practices will ensure that I contribute positively to your team. I am proactive in identifying issues and implementing solutions, which aligns with GSK's commitment to innovation and excellence. Additionally, my ability to collaborate effectively makes me a strong team player. I am dedicated to upholding the high standards of GSK and eager to contribute to the company's mission of improving patient health. 17. Describe teamwork in a pharmaceutical setting. In a pharmaceutical setting, teamwork is essential for achieving common goals and ensuring product quality. Effective collaboration among cross-functional teams, including research and development, quality assurance, and regulatory affairs, 
enhances productivity and innovation. Team members share expertise to identify solutions to complex challenges, such as meeting regulatory requirements or addressing safety concerns. Regular communication and meetings foster a culture of trust, allowing team members to voice their opinions and contribute ideas. This collaborative environment ultimately leads to successful project outcomes and the delivery of safe, effective products. 18. What are ICH Guidelines? ICH Guidelines, or International Council for Harmonization Guidelines, are a set of standards designed to ensure that pharmaceutical products are developed, tested, and manufactured consistently across regions. These guidelines facilitate the mutual acceptance of data among regulatory authorities in Europe, Japan, and the United States. They cover various aspects of drug development, including quality, safety, efficacy. Adherence to ICH guidelines helps streamline the drug approval process and ensures that patients receive safe and effective medications globally. 19. Explain CAPA, Corrective and Preventive Action. CAPA, or Corrective and Preventive Action, is a critical process in quality management systems, particularly in the pharmaceutical industry. It involves identifying problems, investigating their root causes, and implementing corrective actions to address them. Corrective actions are taken to fix existing issues, while preventive actions aim to eliminate potential risks before they occur. This process ensures compliance with regulatory requirements, enhances product quality, and fosters a culture of continuous improvement. Effective CAPA management includes documentation, tracking progress, and verifying the effectiveness of the actions taken. 20. What is your salary expectation? I believe that a competitive salary for my skills and experience in the pharmaceutical industry would be in the range of $70,000 to $80,000 per year. This range reflects my background in quality assurance and my familiarity with GMP standards, as well as my commitment to ensuring product safety and efficacy. However, I am open to discussing this further based on the specific requirements of the role and the overall benefits package that GSK offers. My primary focus is on finding a position where I can contribute effectively and grow professionally within a reputable organization. 21. How do you prioritize tasks under deadlines? When faced with multiple tasks and tight deadlines, I employ a systematic approach. First, I assess the urgency and importance of each task by creating a priority matrix. This helps me determine which tasks require immediate attention. I then break larger tasks into manageable steps and set specific milestones. Regularly reviewing my progress allows me to adjust priorities as needed. Effective communication with team members is crucial, as it ensures alignment and support. Lastly, I maintain a flexible mindset, allowing me to adapt to unforeseen challenges while staying focused on the end goals. 22. Have you used automation tools in QA? Yes, I have utilized various automation tools in quality assurance, particularly for testing and validation processes. Tools like Selenium and JIRA have been instrumental in streamlining workflows, improving accuracy, and reducing manual labor. Implementing automation not only enhances efficiency but also allows for consistent and repeatable testing. I believe that utilizing automation tools is essential in today's fast-paced environment, especially in the pharmaceutical industry, where maintaining high-quality standards is crucial for ensuring patient safety and compliance with regulatory requirements. 23. What is validation protocol? A validation protocol is a document that outlines the strategy and methodology for validating processes, equipment, or systems in the pharmaceutical industry. It defines the objectives, scope, and responsibilities, detailing how data will be collected and analyzed to ensure compliance with regulatory standards. This protocol includes acceptance criteria, validation timelines, and specific tests to be conducted. Proper validation ensures product integrity, safety, and efficacy, adhering to good manufacturing practices, GMP. Following a robust validation protocol minimizes risks and helps maintain quality throughout the production lifecycle. 24. How would you handle a failed leak test? In the event of a failed leak test, my first step would be to assess the situation carefully and identify the source of the failure. I would analyze the testing environment to ensure that all parameters were controlled correctly. After pinpointing the issue, I would collaborate with the engineering and quality assurance teams to determine the root cause. Implementing corrective actions based on our findings would be essential followed by retesting to verify the effectiveness of those actions. Documentation of the entire process would be maintained for compliance and future reference. This ensures continuous improvement and adherence to quality standards. 25. Do you have any questions for us? Asking questions during an interview is essential for demonstrating your interest in the position and understanding the company culture. You might consider inquiries such as, can you tell me more about the team I would be working with? Or what are the key challenges the team is currently facing? Additionally, you could ask about opportunities for professional development or how success is measured in this role. Understanding these aspects can help you gauge if the position aligns with your career goals and values. In preparing for your GlaxoSmithKline interview, understanding the most common questions and crafting thoughtful responses can set you apart from other candidates. By familiarizing yourself with the expectations and culture of GSK, you can demonstrate your alignment with the company's values.
Remember, preparation is key to showcasing your skills and enthusiasm for the role. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more insightful content. Good luck with your interview.